croeso i bysgota Cymru. Welcome to Fishing in Wales. So we're fishing today on Talabont Reservoir. Uh, this is a very large 200 acre plus uh, reservoir in the heart of the stunning Brecon Beacons National Park. In my opinion, it's one of the best wild brown trout fisheries in the whole of Wales. Uh, with native wild brown trout, usually averaging well over a pound, uh, with a good chance of a three pound plus fish um, almost every time you visit it. There are a number of ways you can fish Talabont. Um, the first is by getting a day ticket online with a fishing passport. Uh, you can also join the Merthyr Tydfil Angling Club locally or Gwent Angling Society. Uh, if you join both of those clubs, um, you're able to come and visit Talabont and fish it within the trout season as many times as you want. The season starts at March the 20th and ends on October the 17th. And today we're here, late September. Uh, the water's cooled down a little bit and we're hoping for a bit of action with the fish coming onto the feed in the autumn months. So we've just been methodically covering the bank. Um, I walked about three, 400 yards away from the parking area, which is well worth doing. Um, I basically started to work my way back along the shore, using the wind to my advantage, just fan casting the water and um, covering fresh water. Um, it didn't take as long, uh, 10 minutes into fishing, um, had a nice take and bang, uh, typical Taliban brownie on the end of the line. There we go, nice example of a Taliban trout, um, probably about three quarters of a pound this one. Uh, so we'll put him back and uh, see if we can get a few more. Great. So when you're coming to fish a large lake or a large reservoir with wild brown trout in Wales, uh, please don't tackle this like you would a rainbow trout fishery. Um, wild brown trout, um, they tend to be more territorial in the nature, more localized. You really need to cover water. So don't turn up and stand in one spot, casting repeatedly. Um, there is a way of fishing in Wales, uh, which we sometimes called walk and cast. So you need to get into a rhythm of um, casting and moving down the bank. So you're always covering fresh water, uh, which will maximize your chances of coming across a fish. In terms of what you're gonna need, um, I personally recommend a 10 foot six weight, although a nine foot six, seven weight or a 10 foot seven weight will do it. You need the length to keep your back cast high and away from the bank behind you. You need that um, slightly higher line rate in six weight or above because of the wind. You're gonna need that ability to punch the fly line out across the wind or sometimes into the teeth of the wind where the fish can sometimes be lying. So when you come to one of these venues, uh, a pair of waders is quite an important bit of kit. Um, but bear in mind, there's no need to just charge straight out into the water. You just need to take your time. Don't push the fish out. Just wade out only where it's necessary and just take your time moving along the bank, being mobile, and of course, casting parallel to the bank. It's always worth doing uh, with the fish here because they're hugging the margins, looking for the food, often within the first five or 10 yards of the bank. So we just caught a fish a couple of minutes ago on this nice little ledge. Um, often you find them clustered together, especially with structure. And this time I kind of let the fly sink along the ledge and uh, just twitched it back quite slowly. And straight away, another fish has just nailed the point fly. So there we go, another stunning looking trout from Taliban. Uh, these wild fish really have an amazing variety of color. Um, they very rarely look exactly the same. Each fish is really unique, um, quite individual. And uh, we're gonna put this one back uh, to fight another day. So when you're coming to fish a wild brown trout lake like this, 
Uh, pick your day for it. Conditions are very important. Uh, a day like today is a, is a prime example of good fishing weather here. Uh, we've got rain, we've got wind, and we've got overcast. Uh, perfect conditions, the trout are much more active. Um, if you come here middle of the summer, bright blue skies, flat calm, uh, warm water temperatures, you, you, you're gonna struggle. So always pays, uh, pick your day for it. And the fouler the weather, often the better the fishing. When it comes to flies, um, when you're fishing these wild brown trout lakes, it doesn't need to be complicated at all. Uh, just bring a, a small selection with you. Uh, traditional wet flies um, like Zulu, Bibio, Cockabondi, Black Pennell, um, and perhaps uh, some black mini lures. They tend to work well. Stuff like black tadpoles and woolly buggers. Um, bring along a basic selection of dry flies, um, CDC hoppers and daddy long legs. Uh, because a lot of the food here is terrestrial, it's getting blown in. Um, so as long as you keep it simple for success, uh, you're bound to do well. Discover fishing in Wales 